Hello everyone, so we're here again for part two of this uh, review. I forgot to talk about the browser, but we'll get into that soon. Uh, right now I wanted to just go over some benchmarks to let you see how fast it, this uh, tablet can perform. So we'll use Quadrant. And 2.2 isn't uh, compatible yet, unfortunately, which is my favorite ones. But we'll just wait for that one. So this is Quadrant, which is also very popular. running at 60 frames per second which is pretty cool on my Nexus it runs at uh, 30 frames so not bad if it does landscape nope yeah 60 frames as you can see there really isn't working hard at all Yes, we do. So there's a device at 3543. So as you can see, it's not better than the uh, Transformer Prime, which is double the cost of the uh, Nexus 7. And the HTC One X is also, you know, a beast. Um, all three devices for the top three are quad core. I believe that the top two have a higher process, I think 1.5 gigahertz quad core so that's the result there uh, let's check if you want we can do Velamo I hardly use this test but since there's some lacking in this market will use this. So they actually have some browser tests, which are pretty cool. Speaking of the browser, the uh, Chrome browser is finally uh, the stock browser. Um, anyone who's had prior phones know that you can, you know, the normal stock browser wasn't as good, even though that one did have flash support, which the Chrome browser does not have. Um, but I guess everything's going HTML5, which is all right with me. But um, yeah, the Chrome browser is fast on this device. Which we'll get into soon. And the cool part of the Chrome, Chrome browser is that it syncs with everything that you have. So, you know, this is pretty much another computer. Pre types everything that you place that you've gone to. It has bookmarks, uh, bookmarks from your uh, your tabs on your computer. Everything's there. Okay, so this does have a browser test, that's cool. Done. 
Okay, so 1700 is the score. Let's see what the comparison is now. Okay, so let's see if I can get a closer look. So my score is on the second, so I'm right below the HTC One XL. I don't even know that device existed. Okay, I guess it's the better of the HTC One uh, One X, but yeah, the scores actually range higher than the Transformer Prime and the HTC One, which is pretty cool. I guess the networking and uh, JavaScript help with that. So lastly, we're gonna take a look at SmartBench. See how well that performs. It's pretty fast, and I mean, I've had no slowdowns at all, just doing normal stuff. I mainly use this for uh, reading books, magazines when I'm on the go, or on my break at work and at school. I haven't used it for textbooks yet, but. I'm sure I will. But yeah, even for videos and stuff, I rarely play games on here even though I'm a heavy gamer, but it's pretty. Okay, index scores. So my device is up top. So the productivity is 1300 and the games index is 27, which is pretty cool. It's good enough. So yeah, those are the benchmarks. Now, since I never spoke on the Chrome browser. Let's see. Yeah, the loading is fast. Look at that. Let's try xbox.com. That might take a little bit more because of all the. Yeah, I mean, the page loads fast. Oh, that's the whole page. Can't go up and down. Let's try Twitter. I don't even know if I'm logged into that. I am not. So you know what? I'm not going to waste my time. Well. Yeah, I'm not going to waste my time. But yeah, that's the browser. And it has all your tabs from, you know, it does have the request desktop site so that nothing runs in mobile. Which this should have been on already, but and has everything there. You can run uh, multiple tabs. As you can see it has the incognito, so that you can search for things without. Uh, I guess it's saving on your search, so that's pretty good as well. Just like pretty much everything, just like your desktop, uh, everything's there. Even the settings. Autofill is autofill, which was not here on Ice Cream Sandwich, I believe, when it first came out. Um, is there for you to when you want to log in real quick um, and say password is cool. So everything is pretty good. So overall, you know, I definitely recommend this to everyone. Take a look at it. I wouldn't recommend getting the eight gigabit, eight gigabyte ver uh, version because it's you know. It really comes in with like 5.3 gigs after all the software. This comes with 13 after all the uh, OS uh, space has been taken up. Um, yeah, overall, you know, it's definitely a you know a, a nice step forward for Google. I hear they might be coming out with the Nexus 10 which is later this this year, but uh, I didn't really care about that because I think a 10 is just too big for what I need it for. Other people might need other things. But I think this is a great fit. Whoops. I'm playing music. Okay. We'll pause that. But yeah, definitely a good look. Thank you all for viewing. And uh, my next review should be about the case for this. See how well it performs. If it's worth it. Have a good day.